Games galore in this week's Cloud Gaming recap from Stadia, GFN, Xbox, Boosteroid and Amazon Luna. Google Stadia announced three more games coming soon to the platform. Through the Darkest of Times is a historical strategy game arriving June 1st with a $14.99 price tag. Wild Productions are bringing their supernatural psychological horror story, Those Who Remain, sometime in July. Finally, Mighty Switch Force Collection is coming soon from way forward. The creators of Dawn of the Monsters, which everyone can play right now completely free through May 31st. GeForce now announced 10 more games to the service this week, 6 are new game releases, the first of which is Crossfire Legion from Steam. My Time at Sandrock is available from Steam and Epic. Out there, Oceans of Time comes from Steam. The fantastic Raji and Ancient Epic is available from both Steam and Epic. Ubisoft's brand new and much troubled Roller Champions is available from Ubisoft Connect and you can check out our gameplay video on this one for more information. The final new game release, Soda Crisis, is available from Steam. The King of Fighters 15 comes available from Steam and Epic, while the Planet Crafter and the Political Machine 2020 are both available from Steam. Three more games are available this week on Xbox Cloud Gaming. Floppy Nights and Pac-Man Museum Plus were announced last week, but we got a little surprise in Sniper Elite 5. This was announced for Game Pass but was never listed as coming to the cloud until it showed up on release day. Check out Marchief's gameplay overview in the top right for more information on this one. In case you missed it, we are set to lose 4 games on May 31st. You only have a couple of days left to finish up with Farming Simulator 19, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Super Hot Mind Control Delete and Yes Your Grace. Windows Central came in hot with an exclusive this past week regarding the much anticipated and talked about Xbox cloud streaming device codenamed Keystone. The device is said to be similar to Google Chromecast, so if they can take this innovation and improve it, I think we will all be winning. The sad news is that Microsoft is continuing to explore additional iterations of the product before bringing it to market, so we have some time to wait just yet. I'll leave this article link in the video description for anyone who would like to read it in full. Boosteroid has now been officially released in the USA. All six data centres are up and running and the best way to find out more about this is to check out Jerry's overview video in the top right. But maybe after you've finished recapping this news because we still got more to come. Amazon Luna released their monthly blog with an outlook for June this past week and as you can see it's a pretty decent lineup. Resident Evil 2, 3 and Samurai Warriors 5 are heading to the flagship Luna Plus channel. Mega Man Legacy Collection is arriving to top up the retro channel and the same can be said for Riptide GP Renegade which is heading to the family channel. Five games will be available on the Prime Gaming channel next month, Far Cry 4, Blood Rain 2, Terminal Cut, Beach Buggy Racing 2, Hot Wheels Edition, Lumens Remastered and Moving Out. Loads of games this week, services expanding into new territories and the teaser of some new hardware coming soon for cloud gaming. Not bad at all, or is it bad? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you very much for tuning in, we'll be back again soon with more cloud gaming content.